What is going on guys? My name is Tiger T, bringing you another video. And today we're gonna to be working on my wide body Rocket Bunny Toyota 86. And this is probably gonna be maybe a part tour, probably. But uh, so hopefully I could break it down in one video. But what, today what we're doing is we're going to be installing my, a roll cage in it, uh, a six point roll cage. Uh, so these two, I, j I just got this whole thing today, unpacked it and everything. So I'm pretty excited to be putting it in here, but I know it's going to be a lot of work and it's going to re require a lot of detail. So I'm going to see if I can, uh, get the whole thing in today and mock it up and then, uh, take it out and uh, pan. So we're going to be taking the seats out and the harness bar out and putting in these, uh, the, the mock-up basically, fitting it in. So that means I have to drill the holes if there's no holes already there. Hope It's a, for a Model 86, so I'm hoping there are some mock-up holes that are going to make this really, really easy. So, but if not, I gotta drill the holes and uh, basically get it ready for uh, in, permanently in. So first up is the mock-up. So the first thing we have to do is take everything out. Now, when you're starting to uh, take everything out of your car, first thing you want to do before anything is uh, unhook the battery so you don't kill it because most likely we're gonna leave these doors open so it's easier to get in and out and you don't want that killing your battery. So let's go do that. Okay, now that I disconnected the battery, uh, I forgot to also say that I also put down the windows because you don't want to smash it with the bar and destroy your windows and then you're really in trouble. But it shouldn't happen, I just do it for safety. Uh, but after you disconnect the battery, next we got to disconnect the whole seat. So there should be four uh, bolts uh, in the front and two in the rear that just come out and then just the plug right should be right underneath this section and it will be able to come out so let's get to it Okay, now that I just got the driver's side uh, seat out, I got to take out the other side. So what you do to one side, you gotta do to the other. So let's go get that out. Also guys, the bolts for the seats are 12 millimeter. I don't know if I said that, but if I didn't, that's what they are, the four bolts on the bottom of this. Okay, so now that I got both seats out i can start evaluating and seeing what needs to be done visually and or mentally so basically uh i kind of want it to look stock you know a lot of people take out their their whole interior for a roll cage but just how i installed this harness bar you know some people take off the whole panel and everything I'm gonna modify it and I'm hoping I could do exactly what I did is uh, go through this like uh, this this I don't know what this material is like a cloth kind of material to the actual frame so that it has an actual use same as with the roll cage so I kind of want to keep it somewhat semi uh, stock okay and one thing that I uh, forgot to tell you, when you're putting in bars in your car, um, sometimes some of the joints are gonna be so, like sort of stiff to where you can't even get them in where they're supposed to be. Don't worry, just take it out, take your time and try fitting it in there. Cause it will fit perfectly. I had trouble with this, but I just took my time 
Um, if you take your time, it's gonna look really well. I also had to get rid of my mirrors too so, because uh, this bar wouldn't get in, but I think I could fit the mirror, the, the sun visor back in, but I don't know if I wanna keep it in because I don't really use the sun visor that much because you know, some people already run uh, windshield banners, so I don't know what I'm gonna do. I might put something else there, but we'll see. Uh, it gives me more room up top too. Um, another thing is, uh, I only got four of the six points in. I have to take out, I have to put down this seat. And so that means I have to put away the brom bar and I could put in the other two points. But for mock-up right now, it looks pretty good. As you can see, I have one point there, one point right here, one point there, and the other point there. So it's, it looks pretty good so far. Uh, it fits pretty well right here. You know, it doesn't, it doesn't block too much. And mind the color, I'm gonna change it to this color so it's gonna look a lot better. Um, but right now, it looks, it, it's going pretty well. I hope you guys are going along with this, and uh, but it, it seems to be fairly well. Um, I notice it's pretty tight around this area and down there, so I don't know how the plates are going to fit in there. I'm hoping it's not going to be too of a big issue, too big of an issue, but I really don't think so. So once I get rid of this bar and put down the seats, uh, it should be a lot easier. But for now, I'm going to take a break today. I got some other things I need to do, so I'll see you tomorrow. Okay, day two of the project. Uh, so I did this off camera, but I took out the just the seats, the rear seats, um, and my also my harness bar. So you guys don't have to do that when you're installing cage unless if you do have a harness bar, because now I got, I'm planning on just getting rid of my back seats completely. Like I said, I'll replace them with um, a, a plain old nice little cover. I don't know what it's gonna be, but I'll figure it out later. Uh, I'm just gonna take out the whole, I don't know what the, the uh, this part right here. I'm gonna take out this part right here. And uh, it's gonna be a little of a chore, but you know, like I said, I'm pretty busy today as well, so I don't know if I'm going to be able to get back uh, to it today. But don't worry, guys, fret not, for this will all be one video, and you'll see. So I guess I might as well teach you guys how to take out that little back piece. So let's get to it. But first, you need to take out these seats, and they all have this little bolt right here, which is a 10 millimeter. So you just use those for that side. And then you just push down on the seat where that clip sort of is, and then it'll pop right up. So you gotta do that. All right, so next, don't mind my little truck. You want to pull the tabs right here. It's holding my umbrella. Pull, pull this one tab right here and the other to drop down the trunk completely. There you go. Here on this part, this is from facing the back. You're gonna have to take out your, uh, whatever this piece is, your trunk liner. And uh, you're gonna have to get underneath this. So for me, I have to obviously clean out my, my little trunk area. And then uh, I believe there's gonna be some tabs under here you're gonna have to pull. And then that allows you access to screws and you could pull this thing right out. Okay guys, these are the pins I was sort of telling you about. They are right here. Now, there's a si really simple way to do this. Um, for me, I could just rip them out, but uh, if you wanna keep this liner, all you're simply gonna do is sort of push this, this fabric piece sort of this way. And here's a little bit more explanation. So you see how the, the pins right here, so if you push it this way, it's going to free up that whole space and then you could just easily pull it out. That's simple. Okay, now that you got this part basically loose, you're basically uh, all set. And uh, all you're gonna have to do now is we're going to have to take off 
this line, this uh, kind of plastic cover right here. And that's gonna free up this section where we need to take off. Same goes with the other side. And uh, that's basically pretty simple. Also guys, another thing I found easy, I like to keep my tools right here in the passenger side when I'm actually doing all this because it makes it easier and you don't have to keep getting in and out of your car. Unless if you prefer it that way, but that's what I like to do. Anyways, so we're gonna take off this liner now and we gotta undo this clip. And I believe there's another clip, if I'm not mistaken, somewhere. But when I'm doing all this, I'm also going to be removing the seat belts as well. So, hey guys, I almost forgot you need to undo these uh, pins on the side as well. I totally forgot that's part of it. But yeah, those three pins, and then this thing pops right off. Alrighty, guys, so I got that side done. You can see the the welds and the coating of my rocket bunny there but these you're gonna slightly pull off the trim because this is what you're dealing with you're dealing with these little uh pins sorry about the noise too it's the lawn man but yeah these these pins are going to uh they're going to just simply pop off uh just just don't go rough with it and you will be fine uh if a pin falls out you could just whoops you can just simply put it back in just like that so very simple very easy easy to do then we could access the top seat belts we could take off the bottoms uh, parts of the seat belt too if we want to and we also have access to the bolts that hold on to this back piece right here so but first we do need to get that off to take out the seat belts so Let's get to that. Now guys, to remove this back part, you're just simply going to, there's two bolts on each side right here. This is really what's holding down the actual thing. You can remove it for now to give yourself some more room. I, I didn't do it when I was getting rid of this. I probably should have, but now you know. Now with these two out of the way, this should be able to just simply come out just like that. And pull it out, and boom! See, now you have a freestanding liner. Okay, guys. So it's like middle of sort of well, it's start of summer in the middle of the day, and it's getting really hot. I forgot to tell you guys. Make sure this is like a winter modification if you do do it, because working inside a car in my garage in the middle of summer is sort of. It's, it gets pretty hot, so it, I'm, it gets pretty frustrating when you're taking off panels too because you don't want the clips to come out and it just takes some finessing to do. And I'm working around an airbag as well. So it's best if I just take my time with it. Like I said, there is no rush when you're doing these things, so make sure you don't have plans. Like I said, I don't need to use my car till like the 27th. So with that being said, I'm just gonna take a little break. I might get back to it. But so far what we did was take off this, uh, the back piece to the, I guess the trunk, I guess you could say. And it was held up by these brackets. Now, what's interesting about these brackets is that you can still use them to keep your, the bottom part of the seats in, which is what I plan to do. But you also have like the baby, straps or whatever you want to say are connected to that you can keep that in there but i do not recommend putting a baby uh, seat in there without the back part as well especially with the cage too at that point you're just being a irresponsible parent but since i am free of all that stuff i get to i could probably cut this if i want and still keep this seat part in there and still shave off some weight as well while we're there um or i could just leave it out completely but i don't think i'm going to do that because i do not like the look if you guys could see of like the seats that are completely empty and they don't have any anything in them so i plan on just cutting them putting those in removing the baby seat holders i also got those trims out um 
I'll explain later how it all works, but right now I don't have too much light. So uh, with that being said, I will uh, come back later. I don't know when, who knows, but I also got these liners out. This thing, some of the sound ending came off, but that's not super easy to replace. Just put some glue on it. Don't worry about it. Um, another thing is, uh, now that we're working on the other point, can you believe this is just for mock-up too? Is uh, my my cage is actually pretty solid and it's not even in the, the holes, which is a good thing because I need it super, super stiff and really, it's really important you get a cage designed or modified to your car. You know, I don't, I don't really like to mess around with universal fits too much because they gave me some headaches and, and all my experience of getting universal parts. So, uh, I'll see you guys in a quick second. Alrighty guys, so been some while now but I stopped working on my uh, cage for the moment because the company sent me uh, two left rear bars instead of a left and a right one. So I have to get the other part. So I got to return the other part and get that all situated. They already sent me the return label and all that. So I just need to go do that. And then we should be good to go to continue but for now i think i'm just gonna end this as part one so uh i'll see you in part two bye